here we see the layering of the Saturn. We see the layering of the Uranus. We see the layering of the Chiron. Long-term transits, actual people, processes, experiences. You can look at any cycle chart and you can go nuts with all this data. There's so much stuff there. It's not about analyzing every last little detail for your clients. Please don't get overwhelmed, concerned, or confused and think that you have to have all this memorized. It's kind of like college that you're going through now. It's learning how to take advantage of the material, the information. So here in the Chiron, this is, again, the good conditioning themes that are going to impact you personally. Whether or not it's good for you, we cannot tell you the only person that can make that decision is you, you being your own authority. So it's what's going to be there entering into what is new in your life, new encounters with new people. You could also ignore what is new. Maybe it's not correct for you. As long as you're correct and operating in alignment, none of this really matters. You will be correct in you as your sovereign self. When you align with your decision-making process and you trust your form and the way in which your mind can be liberated from being the decider. It can be a passenger. It can witness. It can watch instead of trying to mentally masturbate with the material and try to make certain things happen because you see it there. This is better. All of these cycles, except for the solar. Solar is better at the beginning of the process when your unconscious natal design has its imprint. Everything else, better off that you do it a couple years into or after that cycle analysis because that helps us to make sense of especially with Saturn oh my goodness what happened you know what happened to you in that process if someone is not operating correctly what will happen is you can pretty much predict what's going to happen to them based on the frequency so the cycle analysis if you were to be on the evil side of things, you could just say, this is what is going to happen to you. Absolutely. If they're not being their own authority, it can be incredibly predictive. But that's not what we're here for. It's not what we're all wanted us to use this material for. If you really want to use the cycle as a signpost of the development of your being, then to be able to understand that in operating correctly as yourself, not only are you going to be able to discern, select which experience, process, person, imprint is of value to you, but you're also going to see if you're sovereign, solid in your own authority, you're going to be able to see the blind obedience of those around you to the program itself. Remember, think of it like current events, these new cycles. These are what are, you're going to come into your life as an encounter, as an experience. So if you're really operating correctly, what happens is the reading that you give to your client is going to be something that they can see in the people around them because everybody you know, all of us who are going through our Chiron cycle in around this time frame, this age, you know, will be imprinted with the same general thematics of the background frequency and the larger life planetary aspects because they move so slowly. So you're going to see what's happening, but it may in fact feel incredibly personal to you. If you're not remembering to be your own authority and sourcing into your uniqueness, your sovereign self, these imprinting frequencies are what everyone is subject to. The key being, again, remember, like the smorgasbord, it's not all for us. Ra describes it as like a bucket of pain that's poured over us. Remember, in the openness is where we are receptive, sensitive to things. And so instead of that bucket of pain, 
we're just going to take little dibs and dabs sampling, like think of the reflector aura. What is correct for us to digest, to take in, in response, if you're a generator being? What you're clear about, if you're an emotional being, and so forth. It's not about everything. If someone is operating in alignment, they're not controlled by the imprint because they are correct in themselves. And that means they can interact with the environment as it is, surrender to the experience. And when it is correct for them in alignment with their decision-making process, take advantage of the imprint instead of being dominated by it. That's what we want for our clients, for ourselves. The program, again, remember, it's not being forced on you. It's just this vast sea, this ocean of information, streaming neutrinos. And we are designed to process all of that uniquely through our own innate, in this man's case, knowing our own design. We're only intended to take in what is correct for us to take in, not everything. So any center, remember, that's open in you, it's your opportunity for wisdom. When you have an unattached observation of what's moving through you, and you come from your place of authoritative process of who you are, in this man's case, his impact in what he knew to be true. This is the process that taking in that filtering of consciousness through our unique design, we can take advantage, we can leverage, we can know what is correct for us to participate in if we are our own authority.